Are you sick and tired of gambling your hard-earned money on Madden packs? Well, look no further than my sponsor, MMOEXP, for the cheapest and most reliable muck coins on the market. And don't forget to use code FURTY at checkout for 5% off. The link for their website will be right at the top of the description. What's going on guys? Today we're looking at the brand new Shaquille Griffin. Before we hop into it, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 20,000 subscribers with that subscribe button and turn notifications. We post daily Madden 21 content. And also do not forget to hit that like button and also leave a link for my Twitch channel down in the description. We're live almost every single night over on Twitch. So if you haven't come through yet, I recommend you do. And we also do have the merch live. Uh, we got hoodies, t-shirts, long sleeves, and masks over there. So if you want to cop some merch, I'll leave a link for that in the description as well. All right, so here is the man himself, Shaquille Griffin. We have him powered up to a 94 overall. And with full sprinter and full lockdown, he goes to a 96 overall. And he's got 96 speed, 95 acceleration, 87 agility, 91 jumping, 96 play rec, 94 man, 98 zone with 94 press. So looking at these stats, I do believe that Shaquille Griffin is the fastest base speed corner in the game right now. And on top of that, he's got 94 man coverage and 98 zone coverage with full lockdown. And if you did use this card earlier in the year like I did, Shaq Griffin just animated like crazy. And I said that Shaq Griffin's next upgrade, it, it wouldn't matter if it was like an 87 overall. Luckily, we got like a 94 overall. But um, I said Shaq Griffin's next upgrade is going to be absolutely insane, man. Um, the way that card animated, the way that card played was just it was just so nice. Um, and looking at these stats, man, I, I expect the same from this card as well. And the fact that he's six foot with a 79 catching. Um, let's see that COD. Okay, so 87 COD isn't the best. Um, not, not the best as a ball carrier by any means, but um, you're not getting this guy to play running back. You're getting this guy to play a cornerback, of course. That's why he's at 96 speed um, and those crazy, crazy coverage stats. So let's over to the abilities. And for the abilities, Shaq Griffin is a zone cover corner archetype in X-Factor Rock and uh, Universal Coverage. In the first slot, here, here, here's what he can get. And keep in mind, the first and second slot are the exact same. Does get acrobat here, gets deep zone, mid zone, uh, deep zone, wait, deep out KO, deep in KO, okay. Deep out and deep in, and then he gets a flat zone with chuck out. Um, and there you go. And in the second slot, like I said, the exact same the exact same thing. And in that third slot, does get bench press, which is pretty interesting. Um, gets lurker as well, gets pick artist. Um, does not get one step. He does miss the one step threshold by one. And this card with one step, it would have probably, I don't know what would have happened if they gave this card one step. Because I was thinking about putting one step on him right when I saw this card. Um, I should have known the threshold was 90, but I was thinking that this card, this card with one step would just be so glitchy. Um, already one, already the fastest corner in the game on top of that, putting one step on him, uh, just would have been just, it, and it kind of would have covered up his one hole on defense as well. I guess his man coverage is like the weaker stat people were looking at, but, um, but, uh, yeah, man, just absolutely ridiculous. This card with one step would have probably, uh, been held a face for sure, man. But yeah, um, we're rocking Acrobat today. In my opinion, Acrobat. Still one of my favorite abilities in the game right now. It basically turns any corner into a, into just a glitch, diving interceptions, slots, jumping up, making plays, going crazy. That's why I love Acrobat so much. And it's only one AP as well, which is just, which doesn't make sense to me at all. But yeah, just hop right into it. The plan today is I'm not going to use her with Shaq Griffin. I'm just going to let him do his own thing. So if we get an interception, we do get an interception. If we don't, um, that means that he probably locked up whoever he was guarding. I mean, the plan is obviously to get an interception, but I'm not going to try to force it. I'm just going to let him play man by himself because most likely if you are trying to get this card, you're not going to be using your outside cover corner. That just makes no sense. So um, I'm going I'm to let Shaq even play man and let him play zone all by himself over there. Um, there is a there is a formation where I do use my corner sometimes. I'm not sure if he'll be the user corner. Uh, maybe, I, maybe I will try it, but for most of the video, just know he'll be playing man by himself. He'll be playing zone by himself. Um, so I'm not, I'm not really going to be trying to force an interception today, but if he gets one, um, that'd be pretty cool. So uh, yeah, top into it. Let's do it. One thing I do want to say while we're loading in is shout out to my cousin for letting me use his, uh, use his account today. Um, he's got a $77,000 Madden team. So shout out to him for letting me use his account for this gameplay. Um, it probably wouldn't have been possible without his account. So shout out to him for real. Oh boy. We're not in Saints playbook. We're not in Saints playbook right now. This could end up really bad. I have no idea what playbook he's in right now. I forgot to change the playbook to Saints. Pretty sure this might be Pat's playbook. I could be wrong. I have no idea what playbook he's in, but yeah, I really have no clue. Let's here we go. Start off with a little run here to my boy LT. Get a feel. That, that's, a, that's a quick and easy first down. Am I going to have X open for a TD? I actually might have that. Touchdown. Let's go. Good dot right now, bro. How am I already dotting at a Pat's playbook? Should I switch the Pat's? With it, Shaq Griffin on the left side. He's locking up that guy in the deep beater. Oh, I thought he was going to throw it to him. Oh, I thought for sure he was going to throw that deep bomb. Hold on. I'm going to get rid of that top middle safety. Griffin on the tight end. Lock him up. Wait, where's the post? Throws, throws the 
little double move and we're gonna pick that off nope we're not you do, do not trust do not trust your tyree kill versus shaq griffin why not he's gonna throw it 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 please throw it oh he didn't throw it bro he's not testing him bro but you see you see shaq griffin just literally on his hip the whole time bro i mean obviously it'd be better if we were able to see a match up against a guy like terry or um or who else who else ocho cinco or guys like that but here we go there he's on the crosser route on dk and we get a sack as they're just locking up wait was that him over there on dk metcalf wait where'd he go oh no he was on the tight end i thought he was on dk metcalf that was champ bailey out there going crazy here we go this looks to be a much better team it's a bears theme team he's got sam mills khalil mack and Allen robinson what is Allen robinson he probably has Allen robinson if he has full sprinter he'll have Allen robinson at maybe 90 92 speed 91 speed in that range i'm pretty sure because he's 88 base speed right 88 base you power him up to an 89 speed then plus two at sprinter and then potentially plus two on the theme team i'm already lost I, i'm not good at math but i'm already lost i i think it might be like a plus a plus five scenario right there i'll probably end up skipping right to when i'm on defense you guys don't really care about the offense th this video so i'll probably just cut and the next time you see me i'll be on defense or it'll or it'll be me scoring a touchdown or it'll be me or it'll be me fumbling or me throwing an interception it'll be one of, it'll be one of those things that, that you'll see next here we go our ball at the one yard line we're about to score the first touchdown of the game here um i did just run i, I am i'm still playing around in this patriots playbook a little bit um i learned that the power o run might be one of the best runs in the game the power o had a gun gun a slot offset and page play and pat's playbook it, it's it, it's glitchy bro i'll tell you that right now i can already tell it's a super glitchy play um and i realized that that that, that was the play i was getting gassed by on 90 percent of my videos so that, that's that's the first thing i realized as ladanian tomlinson's gonna walk in for a touchdown and the same as in the same as in the first game um shaq griffin's gonna be on that left side guy and shaq griffin okay he actually has a pretty good test He's going to be facing um, Allen Robinson on the Bears theme team. This guy's probably going to run the ball with Raheem. I forgot Raheem was a bear. Raheem was technically a bear for a little bit. Um, dude, the Bears theme team wants to get Walter. I got a feeling that a running back's coming soon for the 50, by the way. So if you're looking for a running back, I I'd wait for um, that the 50, bro. And we're going to pick this off right here with Champ Bailey. But, I mean, you guys saw um, you guys saw Shaq, you guys saw Shaq Griffin over there locking down um, Allen Robinson as we get another quit. Okay, we're going to hop into another game, I guess. I don't really know. Dudes quit so fast when they see this team. I don't know what it is. On my account, I never get this many quits this early. But on this account with a 95 overall defense, I mean, it makes sense why dudes quit because, dude, like I said, there's literally Champ Bailey on one side, 25 out of 50 theme team Cromartie, and then now you have Shaq Griffin out there as well. Like, here we go. We're facing a Vikings theme team now. So we so we just faced a uh, Bears theme team. Now we're facing a Vikings team. And he did have that, uh, that limited uh, Harrison Smith. Dudes told me to stop sleeping on Harrison Smith. So maybe he'll show me why I should go and get him. Because dudes were saying like, oh, you're sleeping on him, bro. He's so good. I don't know. Maybe he'll be good. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to have to see today. But um, I mean, we're starting off on offense again, man. All right. I'm going to just cut to me on defense, honestly. Um, you guys don't care about me scoring. All right. Here we go. We're on defense. I had to punt the ball. I took a uh, I took a pretty bad sack. And then um, I couldn't run the ball either. So it started where I couldn't run the ball. And then um, it kind of turned into me trying to pass the ball out of a new playbook. And it was very ugly. So uh, here we go. Like I said... Watch Shaq Griffin, left side of your screen. Hopefully this game's a little bit more competitive than the last two were. I mean, the last two were probably just like short little clips for you guys. But for me, they were like, they were like, you know, like 10 minute affairs. But yeah, here we go. Shaq Griffin make a tackle. One on one in the open field out here tackling Dalvin Cook on a theme team. Dalvin Cook's probably in insane, dude. Here we go. Oh, he got beat off the line though. He, he, yo, Shaq Griffin, they, they just get beat off the line. It was, you know, it's, it is limited. It is limited or redux Stefan Dick on the theme team, but still, man, that's a little that's a little eye opening to me right there. Can this guy pass the ball so I can, so I can get some kind of gameplay here with Shaq Griffin? This is this is terrible. Throws it right at Shaq. Oh, he threw it right at Shaq Griffin. Oh man, he 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 did get cooked right there. But he, you gotta keep in mind he's facing a route tech. He's facing a route tech. Uh, Stefan Diggs on the theme team. Here we go. Watch that. Stefan Diggs is a nice separation though. All right, we're there. We're there. Everything. Everyone's boxed up. I thought he, I thought maybe he tried throwing that. I thought maybe he tried throwing that to Stefan Diggs right there, but nope. Watch the corner. Goes to the corner out again, and oh boy, oh boy, Shaq Griffin, kind of getting targeted right now. But why is Jamal Adams just standing there? Can someone explain to me like the IQ of these Madden players? Like it's one thing I never understood. I know like all these like, I know it makes sense to some people, but like when a dude's handing the football off. And you're standing in the gap just watching it happen. 
You would think like that player would react. Like, if it was the real NFL, he's probably reacting to that. You know what I mean? I should have this for a touchdown. Get it there! Attaboy, DK. DK Metcalf touchdown. Tie football game. Hey, don't play cover three against my my lethal Pats offense, bro. Don't do it. Don't do it. No, he's, you know he's not going to be Texas route. As he throws it right at Shaq's man, and Shaq Griffin's there to make the tackle. Shaq's kind of getting cooked right now. I'm not even going to lie to you, bro. I do want to actually, I do want to see what, let's see Stefan Diggs' stats so we kind of see what's going on here. Um, Where is it? Let's go Vikings or high effort. Uh, he really got Kirk Cousins out there. And he's got Stefan Diggs with, wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, 89, that, is that right? 89, 89 speed Stefan Diggs? There's no way. There's actually no way that's right. There's literally no way that's right. I'm going to go to his zone now. He's going to throw it right at the sideline to Adam Thielen. Yeah, we're gonna, I'm just going to play it. We're going to play him in that deep third. It's fourth and two right now. No way this guy's about to run four minutes off this clock, right? Like, he's really just out here running the ball. All right, I'll let you score. I'll let you score, bro. It was getting boring anyway. Like, like dude, like, I, I this guy passed the ball. I mean, he's still, he's passing the ball, but, like, he, he's, he's just throwing drag routes and, and, and flat routes, bro. Go, go, go. Oh, my. He has inside stuff. No. Score. Let's go. Daniel Tomlinson scores. We're about to go up by one point because this guy cannot kick field goals. And this guy's got to pass the ball, right? There's no way he runs the ball here. And when, and when he passes the ball, I don't think he's, I don't think he's got a shot. I'm going to come out here and zone, I'm playing zone defense. I'm not going to let Shaq Griffin just get burnt by 89 speed. Stephon Diggs. It's just not going to happen like that. Here we go. Watch me on the field. The Diggs. Throws it right at Diggs. Good throw by him. Good, good pass by him. Good pass. I, I, I might go back to man defense. This guy's kind of starting to torch me up a little bit. Let's go back to man, actually. Let's go back to man. I can't let him get into field goal range. We got, we got to go back to man defense. Throws it at Thielen right after I say he's not going to throw the ball to Thielen. Throws it right at Jamal Adams. Very interesting pass right there. As that is going to do it for today's game, this guy just threw the ball right at Jamal Adams. All right, so that's going to do it for the Shaquille Griffin gameplay. And this card is definitely a top three corner in the game right now. Um, the lowest I'll go is top three. He might be like top two, top one, debatably. Um, but the reason why I have him top three and not like the top one definitive guy is because there was some inconsistencies with that man coverage only having 94 i mean I, I say only having 94 like that's bad but having 94 man coverage as you saw in, in, against stefan Diggs, he was getting burnt by him um yes yeah, stefan Diggs did have route tech and route tech's one of the best uh, wide receiver abilities in the game right now for that exact reason because of how fast your breaks are and stuff like that so um we, we, we were facing a stefan Diggs with route tech yes it was only i guess i guess it was 89 speed stefan Diggs. Um, that, that's, that, that's what the, uh, pause menu said. So, I mean, that's kind of concerning, I guess, but if you play this guy in a position to be playing zone coverage, I'm either having him in deep blues, deep halves, deep thirds, um, or even in like some curl flats, this card's going to play super glitchy, but, uh, yeah, I, I could sit here and say, go get this card, but it doesn't make any sense. Um, unless you're running a God squad 94 overall team with a 95 defense, like I was using in today's video, then, um, I don't recommend this card, dude. There's no card in the game. That's worth what? Like he's probably going for like 800 K right now. There's no card in the game that's worth that. But uh, yeah, if you are still watching, um, let's comment the um, let's comment, let's do the uh, just comment the demon emoji. Let's just do that. I mean, this card's a demon, so just comment the demon emoji down in the comment section. Um, and uh, yeah, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button, turn notifications. If the video helped you after the video, be sure to hit that like button. And as always, I'll see you boys in the next one.